Yes, it did come in the mail, finally. It took uh, took a few days. Yeah, people were asking, did you want to see it? Yeah, one sec. Yeah, it's the, the Ferrum Knight. Um, I think it's from Dark Souls 2, even though you get the armor in Dark Souls 1. What? Oh, sorry. I mean, yeah, this is it right here. This is what everyone wanted to see, I guess. This is nice. This is really nice. It's uh, awesome to have. So, glad it came. It's glass, feels expensive, and I uh, don't want to break it, so... We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let the Kool Aid Man take care of it. Steve Weiner from GetRubix.com, and today in our last part of the Windows Sandbox series, I'm gonna show you an awesome tool um, that can help kind of automate everything with Windows Sandbox for Intune app testing. He is really cool though. He's got the shield and everything. Get Rubix, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so today what we're going to look at is this tool called Run in Sandbox. And this is a tool by another uh, awesome Microsoft MVP and general super smart person, uh, Damien. I'm going to mess up your last name. Um, so I'm just going to say Damien and put the link below. But uh, this is a great tool. Uh, we're going to go to the link from the GitHub. And uh, what this essentially allows you to do is this adds a context menu in Windows to run things in a sandbox, depending on what you're clicking on. So let's just start by going ahead and downloading it. You can download the zip. Okay, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna extract it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in C. Okay. Okay, so now that uh, we're inside the extracted folder, we have to uh, run this add structure as an admin. Um, so I'm actually going to open ICE Elevated to run it. Because um, I'm not really sure why I wasn't getting the right click option, but that's okay. The script has been launched with admin rights. If you can right click run it as admin, great. If not, just open ICE and admin and run it from there. Um, and that'll do it. Okay, so just to show you, I'm gonna go to my app sources. Uh, I'm gonna click on, let's do Cisco Jabber. So this is an MSI. I wanna right click and hit um, run in sandbox. Now you can see I can add switches. Um, so for an MSI, oh, add a switch for a silent install. I'm just gonna do Q. Uh, that should be it. So it'll take the MSIX name of the app and pass that switch to it. So you can already see it mounted the uh, app folder on the desktop and it can automatically pass that command in uh, just like if we were to run it ourselves. Oh, and there we go. So now we know it runs inside the sandbox. And if we want to, let's say we're looking for the detection rule, uh, we can go in here, um, open the file location, and get ourselves quick file location just from running that. So that's really helpful, but that's pre-packaging. So let's scrap this. That's once you've uh, you've went ahead and you just want to run the app. But let's say we went ahead and we already packaged something. So let's go to uh, Java. Do I have anything here? I have an Intune win for Java. Now I already packaged this. Um, so let's see what we can do with the Intune Win. Look at this, run Intune Win in Sandbox. So this will take the Intune Win we packaged and it'll let this run against um, the Sandbox. Now what this is doing is this is simulating what Intune wants us to put in as an install command. So I'm gonna put in MSIX I and we're gonna put jre1.8.0 underscore 28164.msi. Actually, this should be in quotes. Dash Q. So this would be the same as what I'm typing inside of Intune. This will let me simulate the deployment a lot faster than packaging it. And now we'll just wait for the Intune wind to run. I don't know if it puts a desktop shortcut on here, so we'll give it a minute. But, yep, I see a Java folder. Yay, there we go. All right, cool. 
So now we know that works. So instead of going through, so remember, it's the same as if you go to Windows apps, you click on the app and properties, and you have to pass it this install command. Okay, so we can even use this to troubleshoot apps that are installing with scripts. So in this case, I have my Choco, my chocolatey Adobe Reader installed. So let's see what's actually going on there. All right, so we'll give it a minute because most likely what it's going to do, uh, well, not most likely, it's going to install Chocolatey first and then it's got to install Adobe. So we'll let it run, mount it all the files, and uh, we'll see what happens there. Oh, I see Chocolatey running, but I also see that it's not running with no window, so that gives me something to correct. So this might be something users are experienced that I can test now. Okay, I can also check the logs and see what's actually happening here. So it did make an Intune apps, Adobe Reader. Let's see what's going on with the logs here. Uh, creating chocolate, Adobe Reader was not found, installing now. So everything looked like it was going okay up until the point where we're installing. So this lets me know uh, which part of the script to take a look at, uh, which obviously I know what it is. I just have to go back and adjust the PowerShell script. So. I think, uh, so great. So that was, I, you know, I was able to troubleshoot that and get to a resolution a lot quicker than if I had to deploy this, uh, you know, spin up a virtual machine or a physical machine and, and then roll that through Intune first. One other thing I just want to show you is some of the context you can have is if you just wanted to, for example, uh, if I want to go to my Intune source folder and just share this folder in a sandbox, I can do that, right? Without, a, you know, I showed you how to make configs, but you can very quickly just in the directory you're in, um, you know, just bring that right over as, as a read only in here and go through that. It doesn't matter what you're working on. It could be my downloads folder. If I'm gonna play with something in there. So I could, bring that right in and start messing with it. So very, very useful tool. A lot of things you can do with it with Sandbox to kind of just, you know, make your day go uh, a little quicker. All right, there we go. Um, you know, it's funny, after I posted uh, the second part, uh, Damien reached out and said, hey, I'm not sure if you know, I have this tool. And I'm thinking, oh man, I'm saving that for the end because this is the tool you need to know about if you're messing with Sandbox at all. So uh, thank you, Damien, for reaching out. The GitHub link will be below. Definitely download this tool. And, you know, with this and some of the other things I showed you, hopefully you'll get a lot more out of Sandbox than you, you ever thought you were. So we'll be seeing you.